Okay, I've been uh, asked a couple of questions about uh, putting capacitors in series and parallel and what difference it makes. Okay, here's two caps right here. Now this one you can see is seven and a half microfarads. This one's a little harder to see. Uh, but if you look close there, right under the arrow box, it says five microfarad. Okay, if I was going to put these two capacitors in parallel, I would put a wire right here. And that's really just a jumper wire. And I'm putting another jumper across here. Now, if I check here and here, or I could do it here and here also, I should read 12 and a half microfarads. That would be the uh, seven and a half plus five. So let's see if that happens. Okay, with uh, the uh, meter set in microfarads, then I will check across here and I get 12.4 so that comes out right that's with them in parallel uh, and this is viable to do in the field uh, if you uh, let's say needed a 12 and a half and you had a 5 and a 7 and a half you could do that uh, it's okay okay now I've done this a little bit differently I just left this one jumper in here and then I went across uh, with my meter. Now these are in series. So we're going to get a different reading. Okay, originally I had a 7.5 and a 5, which would be 12.5 in parallel. But if it's in series, it's 3. 3.02. So big difference here, guys. Don't put the silly things in... Uh, in series unless you're looking for a smaller capacitor. It's always going to be smaller than the smallest capacitor. So let's uh, look at the numbers and why it does that. Okay here we have a simple calculation for two capacitors. So and this is series total capacitance equals capacitor 1 multiplied times capacitor 2 divided by capacitor 1 plus capacitor 2. And then I plug the numbers in. 7.5 times 5 divided by 7.5 plus 5 or 37.5, that's a 7.5 times 5 and the 7.5 and, and 5 added is 12.5 then if I divide the 12.5 and 37.5, I get 3 microfarads. And guess what? I got 3.02. And that needed actually come out the way it's supposed to. Okay, uh, you can put these in series if you wish to. Uh, you don't even really need the calculation. All you need is just the meter. Just put the meter across them and you can see what it comes out to. Uh, I very, very seldom do anything like this uh, anymore. It, uh, you know, there, there's times, I guess, when you'd be in a place where you need to. But you should probably know. Now, this is just two capacitors. If you put three, it gets more complicated. I'm not even going to go into it now. Into it now, it's all reciprocals. And uh, I don't think it's worth doing uh, for the most part. If I get a bunch of uh, questions on it and want me to do it, I guess I'll do it. But uh, it's a very, uh, it's fairly complex. And if you get over two of them, the capacitance goes way, way down. So anyway, you could do two of them in series if you wanted to. 
by far the most common way to do this is if you needed a larger capacitor then you would use uh, the parallel where you just add them together. Okay, that's it for a surgeon parallel on uh, capacitors.